So welcome back to Power BI update December 2023 version. You just need to know they just took it back, the release, so it will be available again next week. But because I have the blog post and they have everything, we can actually go through it so you know it's all really cool updates this month. Let me show you. So the first update is that you can now enable the behavior that we had on the format pane in the old format pane so you can simulate the same behavior and get all these horrible panes that stack to the right. I don't know why people are asking for that. It's such a horrible experience, especially compared with how good the new is. So there are a few things that are really annoying on the new. Maybe that's what's putting people off. One is that the format pane is in the old place. So you have to click on format and you have to click again because nothing is available there. And then the pane appears. Such a pain. So if they will make the pane float by default, it would be a lot easier. Another one is just picking stuff in there, you know, because it will float the pane. But even they say that you could resize it. I haven't been able to resize it. So you have to like hover over and, you know, try to understand which metric it is that you want to pick. So those are my two main pain points at the moment. But the new format pane is marvelous. I need to do a video on it. And hopefully it will change your mind and to, to turn the old one back on. And that, like, no, the new one is so much better. But yeah, we'll do a video about it probably next year. Next thing I want to talk about is what they call in-product user education. Fantastic work there. Here's the thing. They are, because they are moving things around all the time. Now, when they do that, they are going to give you pop-ups telling you, hey, we've moved this thing. You're not going to remember it. You would probably have to Google it. Fine. But... One of the things that is very, very good is because there are some, a lot of things will turn on if you have some specific settings. So if you want to change the specific uh, properties of a series, you have to pick the series first. And sometimes it's not very obvious what you need to turn on, but now if you hover over stuff, you will see that they have this in-product user education everywhere. It's lovely because it tells you what you need to do to enable or disable a specific feature. Very well job done, actually. The columns, the bars, and the ribbons, they've got an update, like really, really nice. I'm going to go through it very quickly. So first of all, you can now change the color of each specific series. You can now change the transparency of the different uh, bars. And even if it's a stack bar, it will work. You can change the border. That is very, very useful. That's something I wanted to do for a long time. Now you can do that. So you can change the border. You can change the order they have it. Unfortunately, you cannot just, you know, it's picked alphabetically on the legend. And now you can just reverse the order or do sort by. You cannot just say, I want these first and I want that first and I want that first. I wanted to do the, that just the other day, but hey, it's an improvement anyway. Maybe if you do one of these, you will get the way that you want it. But if it's possible to do it custom, please let us do it. So more customization. You can change the space in between the categories. You can change the space between the stacked items. You can explode the stacked bars. And when it comes to the ribbon, you can do the same things, but on the ribbon part. So you can choose the color, you can change the border, you can change the spacing. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. And I've done recently a few videos about data labels. Data labels is such an important thing for your data visualization. And I had some complaints that, you know, we created, you cannot have custom labels, data labels in some visuals. So I created one, but I wanted to, you know, put the one below the other. Couldn't, but you can now. You can now. Let me show you. So now you have three options. You can, you actually obviously have the value, and then you can change the font. You can change the uh, size. You can change if it's bold or not. You can add a title, a custom title, or use the legends as a title. And then you can add an additional measure. For example, if you want to do percent change or things like that, which also allows for some customization. Exactly what I was asking for. So fabulous. And you can select if you want it in one line or what I was asking for if you want to stack them. How good is that? Now think about it. Data labels is one of the things that allows you to 
do real storytelling because you can point at specific points and, and tell stories with it and focus on something that you want the user to focus. And this allows you to do exactly that. It's so cool. It's so cool. I will do a separate video about it, about some ideas that I have, but this is so good. You have now also Data Activator, which is basically Power Automate, but you need a fabric license. So continue using Power Automate and you, you go up with the same license that you have today. Uh, wonderful updates. Keep them coming, please. Very well job done to the, the visualization team. I want more. I want more. I'm obsessed. Okay. Let me know which one is your favorite and I will see you again on the next video.